Hello viewers, today we're going to discuss a very important topic. We're going to uh, upgrade from Apex 5 to Apex 5.1. Uh, this is very important to us because you, when you go to production environment, you, you might need to upgrade from one version to the next because every time being updated is a good idea. So now we're, we're going to discuss how to upgrade from Apex 5.0.3 uh, to 5.1. 1.2 which is the latest version you see in the in the bottom right corner you see uh, here you see the version is showing here is on apex application express 5.0.3 and sub versions there now we will have to do some work to upgrade this version now uh, to begin with we will have to uh, do a new a few things first we will have to do this first you see we have uh, two applications here which is uh, application 100 and application 101 now we'll take backup of these applications and as well as the workspaces so let's take backup export import we'll export applications see here is the workspace so we'll first take the backup of the workspace keep it as it is now export Okay, it will go to there. Workspace has been backed up. Now we will take back up of the application here 100. Now the other one export F101 SQL. Now let's see the backup location where those saved. This is the A workspace. This is the uh, application 101. This, this is this application 100. So we have taken the backup of these two applications as well as the workspace. Now, for uh, instance, uh, if the database is corrupt or not, so you will ha we'll have to, for uh, cautionary measures, we will have to take the backup of the uh, database as well. So, we are going to do that. We will take the Armin backup. Now we'll take backup of the database, Armin backup of database, full data, full database backup. The data is being backed up. Okay, our backup task is complete. Now we will exit the Armin session. Now go back to, now the database backup has been complete. Now let's return to installation. You see, in here we have um, Apex here, Apex 1. Point, well, sorry, Apex 5.1.2. Uh, now we'll unzip this one. Unzip this one, and then. okay one thing that we'll have to do is i remember we have deployed this apex in the ords in apache tomcat and this is the location of the apache tomcat you see here web apps and this is the ords and this one is the image folder now that we will uh, we'll have to remove all these files folders except for this my file this is the my uh, this is the file we have uh, created during our uh, discussion of different videos we have uh, done that ourselves now this folder has to be backed up here we have taken backup of this folder here now we will delete all the content of this i folder and then we'll copy all the images from apex 
the newly formed apex product uh, here to see the apex images ls we will copy all these files all these files to here so now let's delete all the files here before that we should shut down the apache tomcat shut down the apache tomcat is shut down now we will remove this folder i folder remove all the content of this folder from the deployment we will again create another folder there T I R I. Give another folder I here. Let's see what is here. Yes, we have folder I here. Now we'll copy all the images there. It, it we'll do that later. Now that our um, system is ready, we're going to. Access the database. SQL plus as CSTB. We are uh, logging into the database with CSDB privilege. Sorry, before that, we have to uh, move to the Apex folder. And then these are the installation files. Now, one thing you have to uh, make sure the home, which was the uh, table spaces, which are the table spaces that are used uh, previously for our uh, Apex installation. Now, let's see those. What are those queries? These are the queries that we can uh, make sure what are those. Let's see. Uh, you see, this is the Apex folder. This is for Apex data. Okay. okay. So now we're going to run the Apex installation. Now uh, we are in the Apex folder. From this folder, we will have to go to SQL plus as this DBA. Now you're in the SQL plus. Now, okay. Apex INS, Apex INS dot SQL Apex data Apex data Apex data temp I same old command we are going to run the installer installation process has begun now the installation is complete now we will check a few things in the database Auto users account unlock defined by account is unlocked now it's time to check whether the installation is complete or not okay now what we have to do we will have to start the apache server no before that before that we have to copy all the images in the i in the i folder here and also 
these folders too okay this now we will have to all the images will be loaded in the i folder and then we will start up the apache tomcat okay the images have been loaded into i folder and now we will have to restart the apache tomcat startup apache server now apache server has started now this is the time of truth let's see what happens okay now let's see the version here what is the version yes you see this is the version 5.1.2 so our task is complete we have just upgraded apex 5 to apex 5.1 thank you for watching thank you everybody